हेलो रिस्पेक्टेड व्यूवर्स फ्रेंड्स एंड डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस नाइन्थ ग्रेड सिंपल ज्योमेट्री प्रॉब्लम इन द क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन अ सर्कल वो सेंटर इज ओ ए सी टच इज द सर्कल एट पॉइंट सी ए बी इज अ सी कैंट ए पी बाइसेक्ट द एंगल सी ए डी एंड ए पी इंटरसेक्ट कॉर्ड सी बी एट पॉइंट क्यू सो वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट सी पी इज इक्वल टू सी क्यू सो टू प्रूव दिस वी विल यूज टेंजेंट कॉर्ड थेरम और वी कैन से अल्टरनेट सेगमेंट थेरम एंड दैट इज इफ अ टेंजेंट टच इज अ सर्कल एट एनी पॉइंट एंगल बिटवीन द कॉर्ड एंड द टेंजेंट This is chord. This is the angle. Angle between chord and the tangent will be equal to angle subtended by that chord in alternate segment, like this. This angle is equal to this angle. This is alternate segment theorem, or we can say this is tangent chord theorem. We can prove it by using that draw. Drop perpendicular. If we drop perpendicular, this is ninety. This will pass through the center. At radius and tangent at the point of contact will be perpendicular. And if we join this, so this will be ninety as this is diameter. Diameter subtends ninety degree. If this angle is x. so this is 90 and this is x assumed so this will be 90 minus x and since this is 90 this part is x so this remaining is 90 minus x so this is 90 minus x this is 90 minus x and this is the angle subtended by this chord same angle will be this 90 minus x so this angle is equal to this angle this is called alternate segment theorem we will use this here in two triangles triangle aqc and apd so considering triangle aqc triangle aqc and triangle apd as we know that by using tangent chord theorem this angle this angle is the angle between the tangent and the chord will be equal to the angle subtended by this chord in alternate segment so this so if this is a this angle is a this will also be a and since ap bisects the angle cad so this part let us suppose this is b so this will also be b so these two triangles are similar so triangle aqc and apd triangles are similar by a a test of similarity and if these two triangles are similar then the third angle will be equal to the third angle so if it is c then it will also be c and if these two angles are c then this its linear pair will be 180 minus c and this is also 180 minus c now since these two angles are equal in triangle cqp these two base angles are equal then sides opposite to equal angles will also be equal it means side opposite to this angle is cp and side opposite to this angle is cq so cq and cp are equal we can say that cp is equal to cq hence proved